Yo, what's going on YouTube? Aussie of Sashian Vic here. And today I'm talking about my quadcopter. No, I am not. I am talking about my car because I'm into Aussie cars again. No, what up guys? Uh, I just got a new vehicle in today and it's the new Losi 10 SCTE roller. Um, yes, it is. It's my first Losi vehicle besides my little tiny guy that was my first Losi vehicle but yes I got my new Losi 10 STE SCTE my bad so I'm pretty excited um, I end up getting a nice um, short course vehicle because I don't have any yes I've sold my slash 4x4 and my two wheel drive that I had in the past you have seen my past videos I had two slashes that I did get rid of it had the castle in it I did love them, they were great vehicles, just wasn't driving them as much and I needed the money at the time, so I decided to go with something different that I never owned before. I mean, I'd like to get another Slash in the future, but I decided to go with a low C. My friend has one, he told me about it, and I looked it up and I was really interested in it, so I decided to buy it and I wanted to somewhat build one and put my own electronics in, so that's why I have done, so I can paint my own body too, the body came clear um, I'm not sure where the body is I put it somewhere out there it is right there um, I'm not telling you what po uh, color I'm gonna paint it it's gonna be a surprise it's a pretty cool color but anyway um, the motor and ESC I bought is the same motor and ESC that that comes with it stock when you buy ready to run um, I was gonna buy the castle but I just found out that the ESC that comes stock with this vehicle is castle it's identical to the Mama Max, or not the, yeah, right, yeah, the Pro, Mamba Pro, whatever you want to call it, it's it's identical, the short course edition one, so I looked it up, it does take up to 6 cell, the motor only takes up to 3 cells, it's a 2800 kV, it's actually a nice size motor, it has a lot of torque, you use a, a Mod 1 pinion, as you can see, it uses a nice size pinion, 5mm shaft. Unlike some other motors that use a 3.2mm shaft that's smaller. Um, what else? Uh, it's, it, it looks great. I'm, I'm loving the suspension. It's got the big bore shocks. It's got all steel drivetrain, steel doggy bones, center drive shafts. It's got a center differential, which is really cool. You have more control over the vehicle. Um, I ended up buying a Savic servo. It's the SE1258 TG, meaning titanium gear. It's a very fast servo. It's a .08 servo at 166 ounces of torque, which is plenty of torque for this guy. And .08 is very fast steering. So when you're doing those, coming up to those fast turns, you can turn real quick which is pretty cool very excited for that looking forward to racing on a track hopefully this weekend if I can get it together um, friends are going this weekend so I never drove on a track before and I'm looking forward to it so I'm gonna be pretty rusty my friends are gonna be blowing me away I have no clue how to how to uh, ride, drive on a track so I never done it before hopefully it comes natural to me I'm gonna see the jumps on the track I'm just gonna wanna bash turn around and jump it again you know that's all I really been doing in RC life is pretty much just bashing so figure you know race and do something different but anyway um <clears throat> I mean truck looks pretty solid pretty durable I'm looking forward to driving it it even came with uh, sway bars as you can see I mean I do like these um, shocks it comes with the plastic caps I'm gonna replace these with aluminum caps uh, what else am I going to replace? I did buy the lighter chassis. I have a chassis coming in. didn't come in yet. So hopefully it will be coming in by the end of the week. So even though I'm building this now because I'm dying to drive it, I'm going to have to pretty much take everything apart and put it on a new chassis aboard. It's still aluminum. I think it's thinner, so it is lighter. When you're racing, weight matters. It's all about weight. Losing weight getting carbon carbon fiber on this guy and that's what I'm gonna look to do in the future um what else um yeah I'm going with my spectrum got the SR 300 receiver D 
DX3R Pro transmitter. I um, think that's it. Um, oh yeah, and the wheels. Um, I'm not too sure about these wheels. I'm going to try them out. See how they are. I am a Proline fan. I do like the Proline tires and wheels. So that's going to be something in the future I will be getting. I mean, the body itself is pretty nice. I like the body. But once again, I like Proline. So I might get the... I like the Raptor bodies. The Ford Raptor. I saw this nice one that's made for this truck. So from Proline, so I'm looking into that. That's probably by the springtime. There's no rush really. So I'm going to try this truck out with this body and later on just you know do my thing anyway um I think that's it I went over everything <sighs> so yeah I'm very happy I'm looking forward to driving again it's been a while I know a lot of guys been telling me when you're gonna do a bashing video I haven't seen a bashing video in a while I, I swear to God, I get like every week I'm getting where's the, where's the bashing video so they will be coming back again trust me I miss doing it I just got really hooked onto my quads. I, I, I love them. FPV is just an amazing hobby to do. It's you're, you're in control of a quad from the ground with goggles, and it feels like you're flying. I mean, it's, it's, it's in a great experience. So you guys out there, you have to try get a quad, get some FPV gear, and go flying, get some goggles. It's the coolest thing ever, but... Anyway, um, I think that's it. I went over everything that I wanted to say. Then you guys know that I will be bashing. So I, another thing, I did get a a Novak glitch buster receiver capacitor because when you do have a Savix, you do need this. That is a fact. That is something you really need because your tires will be doing this. And then it'd be starting to throttle a little and it'd get all crazy and stuff. So, this is something that you actually really need when you have a Savic Servo. I know I had them on my two HPIs and I needed that. So, I did video in the past, so you can look that up too, about the whole Savic Servo and the capacitor thing. Um, I would say that's it. Um, any questions? Please ask, um, comment down below, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Pretty soon I'll be coming up to a thousand subscribers, in which I'm very happy. I want to say thank you everybody for um, watching my page. I've been up for like two years now, two and a half years, and I'm enjoying showing everybody what I love to do, and, and I appreciate everybody's comments and gestures, and well... Um, I will have a video coming up about my, my giveaway, because you know everybody, I do giveaways every 300, but I figure said doing that at 900, I'm going to do, do it at 1,000, so, and it will be a surprise. So, that's all I got to say. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Peace out.